Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today I'm so excited. I'm leaving this city for a while. I'm getting out. We're going to stay overnight, my daughter and I. We're going to go to a friend's farm. We're getting her acreage out there. And this is about central Alberta, Canada. So about an hour, hour and a half outside the city where we're going to try to avoid as much as we possibly can of the pesticides and sprays that they do around the city. So, rocking with that. Oh, and one more little disclaimer. I'm hoping to find about 15 different herbs here today. One of them is deadly, poisonous, but I uh, use it in my spells, okay? Uh, and not for deadly poisonous reasons, actually. It's actually good for fibers and weaving and making really cool flax uh, root with it. So, there's all kinds of different uses for many things. It's, it's okay to handle, it's okay to handle the flowers. Ooh, the flowers are even good for love. So, you never know. Um, we'll get to that plant. There's one other plant that is also toxic to some people, not toxic to others. So don't take that chance. When I go over th my herbs, I will go through which one is toxic or not. Everything else is edible. Everything else you can intake with either a tea or a salad. Uh, I'll go over an ideas and stuff for that for you too today. So join me today as we go foraging for some wonderful herbs in Central Alberta, Canada. city and head out to the country. Looking through the ditches and sides of the roads, I forage and I look for the special healing weed that you find near the roads. Plantain is its name. The plantain is a broad leaf plant that is feminine, ruled by Venus, the element Earth, used for healing, cleansing, calming, protection, strength, power, and repels evil spirits. Medicinal uses are for cough, inflamed skin, dermatitis. You can crush the leaves, use it for insect bites, inflamed skin, stings, eczema, small wounds, cuts, and mild burns even. The white clover is masculine and ruled by the planet Mercury, the element air, and is good for exorcism, love, money, protection, and success. Make a refreshing tea of white clover tea to purify and cleanse the blood. A tincture of the leaves can make a great treatment for gout. The honeybees is a symbol of new beginnings, hard work and wisdom, the reminder that the smallest creatures have a big impact. The bee spirit animals much to teach us about hard work, cooperation, and enjoy the sweetness of life. They remind us to focus on goals and to keep working hard. By the road near where I found the bee's home, I found wild daisy flowers, feminine, ruled by the planet Venus, ruled by the element water, good for abundance, peace, children, childhood, loyalty, beauty, the fae, purity, love, and new beginnings. Divination, love, luck, and blessings. People take wild daisy tea for coughs, bronchitis, disorders of the liver and kidneys. It helps out with inflammation and is used as a blood purifier. Red clover is masculine, ruled by the planet Mercury in the element air. Good for lust potions and the infusion sprinkled to remove negative spirits, aids in dealing with financial arrangements of every kind. The medicinal is used for good for the women in dealing with menopause. A cup of red clover tea will help out hot flashes, sweats, mood swings, and aids in depression. Pennycress, also good for jet fuel making. A masculine ruled by the planet Mars, element fire, has ability to drive away bad energies, attracts good fortune, powers to attract love and love spells. It helps out students for concentration in order to guarantee a good result when answering their exam questions. 
It's also from the mustard family. The entire plant is an antidote, an anti-inflammatory, and good for inflammation and the women's moon time. The wild mustard is a masculine ruled by the planet Mars and the element fire. It's good for protection, mental ability, fertility, dispels evil spirits, good luck, and courage. It's great for digestive aid, cardiovascular regularization, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. The Alberta wild rose, also known as the mountain rose, is feminine, ruled by the planet Venus on the element water for love, healing, divination, peace, harmony, psychic ability, and spiritual growth with a side of beauty. Pink flowers in particular are used for friendship, self-love, happiness, secret love, indecision, and compassion infused of rose petals entirely is used to gargle for sore throats oil of rose is great for dry or inflamed skin it's great for moisturizing and antibacterial antiseptic and anti-inflammatory effects the ladies bed straw is feminine ruled by venus and the element of water it may be worn or carried for love it's used for treating cancer epilepsy hysteria spasm tumors loss of appetite and chest and lung ailments the wild pansies are feminine ruled by saturn venus and the element water used for love attraction and love spells rain magic focus and rebirth it has used to treat asthma inflammation of of the lung conditions cardiac complaints high blood pressure even epilepsy it's used for skin problems like eczema Rue is masculine and ruled by Mars and the element fire, also known as witchbane used in purification rituals, a powerful witchcraft and hoodoo herb used for both hexing and breaking of evil eye. It's a protection herb as well as known for love spells and is protective magic against black magic and dark evil. It can boost psychic abilities. Rue can be applied directly to the skin to treat arthritis, dislocation sprains injuries of the bones small amounts can be used in tea for cough and comb but even small amounts to some people can be toxic so please consult your doctor before consuming rue spreading dog bane and or known as indian hemp is feminine ruled by the planet venus and the element water the flowers of dog bane are used in love mixtures no edible uses are known for this any part of this plant can be poisonous even to dogs as a medicine to the native american this plant was used to treat ailments including headaches convulsions earache heart palpitations colds insanity dizziness syphilis and rheumatism prairie dogbane is used for its dark and root and the bark is used for a cordage to substitute for flax it would mean make very fine threads yarrow is feminine ruled by venus and the element water for courage love psychic powers and exorcism yarrow contains the plant-based chemicals to increase saliva and stomach acid to help improve indigestion yarrow may also relax smooth muscles in the intestine and uterus which can release stomach and menstrual cramps The stinging needle is masculine and ruled by Mars and the element fire. It is used for uncrossing protection, banishing and used in the sender, return to sender magic. Used for eczema, hay fever, asthma, acne, allergies, menstruation, nosebleeds and excessive bleeding, low libido, sluggish metabolism, bed sores, diaper rash, burns and wounds and much, much more. The horsetail is masculine, ruled by Saturn and the element Earth. Horsetail helps us realign and connect with the ancient wisdom from our ancestors, allowing us to strengthen our core beliefs, and horsetail helps us remove our structure from our belief systems, allowing us to change our karma and complete cycles, creating room for new beginnings, joy, and connection. It was traditionally used to stop bleeding, heal ulcers and wounds, from the Roman and Greeks, but you can drink horsetail tea and reduce anxiety and stress and calm your mind. Here are some of the examples of what we forged for today. I thoroughly enjoyed myself heading out to the country and getting away from the mundane of the city. 
finding all these little goodies to add to my apothecary for spells and medicinal uses to come. Thanks very much for hanging out with me today. Throw me down a like up and ring that bell so you know when the next video comes out. And have yourself an absolutely magical day.